All right, what we have here is the People's Republic of China Carrier Strike Group. Over the last 10 years, they have been building up significantly. They have two carriers like this now. If you'll notice up front, we've got the new cruiser-sized vessel that they have with 112 vertical launch cells. And then back on the back, a 24-cell ram-like launcher that launches their HH-10 uh, short-range weapons. These are multiple launch cells on this vessel, which is the Type 55, the large destroyer. The same type of vertical launch cells they have on this Type 52D destroyer. You can notice that both of them have Aegis-like qualities with very strong phased array radars and battle management systems. You can also see the, the new frigates, Type 54A frigates that they have built. I think they have 28 or 29 of those built. These destroyers, they now have 16 or 17 of them in the water and building more. They've got one of these cruisers in the water, but they're building more of those. Four at a time, as a matter of fact. And uh, that cruiser, unlike most Chinese destroyers, can carry two large, not medium, large size helicopters. Z-19s, whereas most of their destroyers and their frigates only carry one. Then, of course, we have the Liaoning CV-16, which is their first carrier. It was built from the former Russian Varyag, Varyag, excuse me, that they took and completely rebuilt and completed and have actually manned it with more aircraft and more of a operation like U.S. carriers than what the Russians have done with theirs. And as I say, they now have finished a second. And you see the one nuclear attack submarine meant to be a Type 93 those are probably about as quiet as our pre-Los Angeles class submarines. They are building and have built newer ones that are probably as quiet as our Los Angeles class. Of course, the United States Navy is two generations beyond that now. Anyway, uh, an aircraft carrier full of strike aircraft, three Aegis type escorts to multi-mission frigates with vertical launch cells. Not to be denied, this is a very strong showing that the Chinese have. I've built these in 1 350th scale and uh, thought that I would put the entire thing out there. Those are J-15 aircraft, which are carrier versions similar to the Su-33 that, that the Russians use, but these are newer and uh, they have built them in numbers. It's obvious that the Chinese intend to build several more carriers. Like I say, they have a second Stobar carrier like this, which is short takeoff and barrier assisted landing. That means they use wires to trap the aircraft, just like we do, but they use that sloped deck or the long run uh, to the side to launch these aircraft. They are about, in fact, the rumor has it, they've started a Cato bar carrier, which is what we have in the United States, which is a catapult assisted launch catapult assisted takeoff and barrier uh, landing. So it's obvious they intend to build probably at least two, if not four of those. 
So we're going to see the Chinese with four to six carriers here in the next 10 years and a complete suite of escort vessels like this to, uh, to escort them. There you go, type 054A frigate, multi-mission, type 052D, Aegis like destroyer, their version, if you will, of the Aegis uh, Burke Flight 2A destroyers, the type 55 large destroyer, or what we would call a cruiser, 12,000 tons, their version of the Ticonderoga, excuse me, Ticonderoga Aegis cruisers that we have. Of course, we have 22 of those ships. And we have, oh, 80 or so Burke destroyers and still building. Our Virginia class submarines are top of the line, uh, most modern, most well equipped. Uh, the British astute class is similar in terms of capability. And then, of course, the, Japan, uh, the Chinese aircraft carrier. And there you have them all in one 350th scale, the Chinese Carrier Strike Group. Thanks for watching.